Should you get solar panels on your house? What are the pros? What are the cons? I'm going to talk about it and explain it all to you guys right now. But I got to tell you, it mainly comes down to the cost. Whether or not the solar panels are going to be able to save you some money uh, versus your electricity bill in the long haul. Now, there are a couple of other things. First, of course, uh, if, you, uh, if you love the environment or if you want to contribute to the environment protection this is a great way to generate green energy not just for your house but also for the electric cars that hopefully you drive that way you're 100 percent green and of course you know there's aesthetics uh, are you gonna really like or hate the way the solar panels look on your roof is it going to maybe devalue the the value of the house Probably not, but still, this is something that a lot of people are worried about. Now, the reason I'm doing this report right here on this location is because the house behind me it's a very unique house. This is one of the first houses to get the Tesla solar roof, which is basically this roof behind me is the solar panels built into the roof. And this house is getting the green energy right now from the sun. Um, it's very unique. And I've did a separate report, actually a couple of them. So check it out on my channel. Um, as a matter of fact, if this is your first time here on my channel, uh, go ahead and click on the subscribe button if you want to stay up to date on everything that's going on in the world of electric cars and green energy. All right, so um, I'm going to break down the cost part of this which is going to be part of your uh, decision really the main part of this uh, of your decision uh, coming up next All right, before we dive in, just one more thing left to do. I just want to thank my sponsor, Evanex, the aftermarket accessories for Tesla. There is a discount code that they've generated for you guys so you can save yourselves a few bucks when you show up there next time. Uh, and they're the sponsor of this video and of this channel. All right, let's talk about the solar panels and the cost. Now, let's, let's first just, just understand what the pieces are here, right? Uh, the solar panels, something that you install on your roof will generate electricity out of the sun that they're going to be gathering and the sun comes out pretty much every day where i live i don't know if it's different where you live but it's pretty much guaranteed free energy that is being converted to electricity now that electricity can be used right away uh, in your home if you're running air conditioning and so forth and then when the you know sun goes away um, there's not much electricity of course being generated uh, then you start using your uh, grid but of course a lot of times rates are lower at night so overall your bill gets lowered uh, by 30 40 50 percent even more than that right um, or there's a second this, uh, sort of uh, uh, scenario is where you don't just use that energy up right away you have it stored in your home batteries. That's right, your battery will have a home just like your uh, iPod or your cell phone or your car. And that's where you store the energy. So even at night when the sun is not shining, the energy that is stored during the day will be used. Uh, and you don't have to really uh, get it from the grid and pay electricity bills to your local uh, utility company. Now, if you're generating too much, meaning you can't use it all, uh, a lot of times in, in many states here in the United States, you can actually sell that energy back to your uh, utility company because they are required, a lot of states here in the uh, United States and in Canada, they require uh, uh, the utility company to generate so much percentage of their total generated energy from green sources and you're essentially helping them and they will pay you for it. So basically, you can get the solar panels that will just power your home at the time when sun is being generated to the energy, or you can store it in a battery and then use it as you see please all right now um let's talk about the cost and this is where you know it really varies and this is kind of like buying a house or a car you can't just say yes or no and this is how much it's going to cost because it's going to depend how big your house is right how much energy you need to generate are you just there you know only in the evenings and you don't run air conditioning during the day do you have electric cars that you have to charge because that sometimes doubles or triples the amount of electricity you use because cars use a lot of electricity when they need to be recharged overnight so you need to figure out how much energy you use and you need every day and that's going to dictate how many solar panels how much electricity you need to generate uh, with your solar panels but then again do you live in the sunny areas like in california or in the areas where it's not you know it's cloudy and rainy where it's much harder to generate the energy so you might need more solar panels also it depends on where your house is located and what kind of configuration your roof has does it have a lot of access to the sun or it's somewhere in the shade under the tree and it's not really pointing into the sun a lot of times during the day all of this 
really matters and, and, and a lot of you know and, and a lot of pricing how much you're gonna spend on this is going to depend on that and of course please make sure to basically uh, contact your local uh, solar installation companies um, you know try to contacting small ones and big ones they all give you different pricing but they will also come out and do an estimation of how much energy you need and how much energy your house can gather there are some calculators online that you can utilize it but even then it's very 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 generic it's only not until they're actually going to come out and do a full analysis when you're really going to know now on top of that a lot of it is also up to you right for example do you want to just buy an installation and pay for it up front? Do you want to finance it? Or sometimes do you want to lease it? That's a big decision that you have to make. And even if your financing is, you can do it uh, using your home as a collateral. So it's going to be more like a home equity line that has a lower interest rate. Or do you want to put on your credit card with a much higher interest, right? That's a personal decision or situation that you kind of have to think about it when you're going to be making those decisions. Also, in a lot of states, there is a rebate. In a lot of countries, there are federal rebates. Like right now in the United States, you can claim 30% of the installation uh, towards your income tax. And therefore, you can get a rebate that way, much like we're doing here with electric cars as well. Um, there are rebates in each state and sometimes even a city. You know, I'm moving to Sacramento and I know they have their own really good uh, uh, incentives for that so you got to check up on that but most importantly you need to know what are the rates of electricity in your area right you don't know how much money you're going to save and therefore if it's going to be worth buying this system if you don't know what the rates are and a lot of times the first you know maybe 80 percent of your energy uh costs you certain rates so so many uh, kil uh kilowatt uh kilowatts are costing you so much but then once you're starting using more the next sort of level of electricity because you're now using kind of maybe above average is going to cost you more and more and more so if you're thinking about buying an electric car you can put yourself in a really high bracket with that because you're using a lot of electricity and therefore you, your bill can go two three four hundred dollars sometimes and therefore or, you know installing a, a solar panel installation may make a lot of sense because they can save you a lot of money but just like I said if you don't have any electric cars if you're not home during the day much and your electric bill is 50 bucks that may just not be worth it to you depending on installation you're going to get right because once again there's different quality of solar panels and installations there are different pricing there are sales you know the, the pricing goes down as the technology progresses just like with your cell phones and other technologies so you got to figure out is there a sale is there a new technology uh, uh, type of a panel that's coming up so all of this you kind of got to figure out and just like when you're buying a cell phone or a car you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna find out what the best deal is for you you just want to make sure that you put all those pieces together and understand but it's all about what is your electric bill is right now what is going to be let's say if you purchase an electric car in the next year or two and then how much money you're going to spend on your installation you know an average installation is about twenty-five thousand dollars minus uh, the rebates um, but again it depends on the size of your house um, so a lot of time you can finance this and then you find out you know if you used to pay two hundred dollars for your electric bill and now it's only fifty and you're paying a hundred dollars a month you know you're paying off your loan well, you're saving yourself 50 bucks. That's pretty cool. Um, obviously, it raises the price of your house because once you pay it off, the house is going to cost more. And by then, the solar panel is, panels is just kind of going to be a must have. We also don't know what's going to be going on with electricity, right? The, the electricity prices can go up and therefore, you know, the, the, the value of your home with solar panels will of course go up as well but at the same time who knows electricity might go down and and then therefore your investment may not be as um, as uh, valuable as you might have thought so you, you're kind of gambling it but a lot of this is relatively easy reasonably to predict in the next three to five years um, so I know that maybe you're saying well this guy's not giving me the correct numbers or right numbers and I want to know yes or no and I just gotta I, I my job really with this video was to really just give you the pieces so you understand what this is consists of and whether or not it's worth it for you and by the way you know i talked about the batteries you know they cost some money as well you know tesla power walls I, they're about five thousand dollars a piece you may need one two or three depending on how much energy you want to store but you have to go figure out you know if you're going to spend an extra ten thousand dollars on the home batteries 
well is it worth it because those batteries will be feeding your home at night but if you weren't really going to use the energy at night like you don't have an electric car to charge you're not using air conditioning or heater then you, you're storing in energy you're not going to use anyway therefore you're obviously going to lose money on this so this is very specific to you guys if you have questions go ahead and put them in the comment section i will try to answer them you know make sure to give me as much information about your situation but just like i said just like with buying a car just like with a buying a home as long as you understand all the moving pieces you're really the best person to decide all right guys i'm going to go ahead and look for your comments in the comment section if there are some common questions i might make another video just to maybe uh, talk about those particular topics you were interested in other than that i really hope you guys go for it if it makes sense for you because of course i want the world to get as green as possible with every year and i hope you go your next car if not already is an electric car as well all right this is it for me for now uh see you guys next time and remember to stay charged